If you needed a sign or motivation to go and do something by yourself, here's your sign. Gotta find peace of mind. Alone now I have to face. I gotta find peace of mind. Please don't let me disgrace. seem very self-aware. I am, darling. I did a lot of work. I did a lot of work on myself, y'all. And I'm gonna be real honest with you. Oh! I love myself. Hey, look at that. I do. I do. I love myself. I love it. It's time to do your understand. It's time to do your understand. Hey family, what's going on? It's your girl Titana Moss and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I talk about sexual wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, entrepreneurship advice. So if any of those things are interest to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you can become a part of the family too. And for all my returning viewers, hey family, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. Woo, it's been a minute since I said that y'all, but we are back, we are back, we are back. So this vlog, I am pretty much just trying to get back to self. And also finding a new sense of self. I have redone my whole entire room as y'all can see. I don't know about anybody else, but times are hard right now. So, <laughs> not moving out as quickly as I thought I was going to. And so I was just like, you know what? Just to maximize my space and make me feel a little bit more comfortable about where I'm at right now, I'm just gonna redo my room. So that's what I did. I did like a complete um, 360, got rid of old furniture and stuff like that. And I really, really been liking it. I haven't got the full thing done yet as far as like some other little things are missing, but for the most part, I did everything that I really wanted to do. So of course I will update and show you guys as that's going on or whatever. But yesterday I had me like a little solo date day. I took myself to the movies and I went on a nice little nature walk or whatnot. I've been really trying to get like back into, or really just the first time of taking my health seriously. I've been starting this um, 75 soft challenge. If you guys don't know what that is, I think I also included it somewhere in the video, but if not, I will add it right here. And it's just a challenge where 75 days um, straight, you're going to be reading 10 pages out of any book. You have to drink three liters of water. You have to do at least one four, 45 minute exercise, a progress picture. I've got the other things, but of course, like I said, it'll be in the video. They have different moderations of this challenge. They also have a 75 heart, which that's for my girlies that are a little bit more like active and they're ready to really really like i guess change things around but i was trying to be realistic with myself and i was like let's just keep it to the 75 soft because uh yeah it's not giving all that hard so anyways it's been going pretty good um i have fallen off some days or whatever but i always just push myself to be like you know what if i miss a day i pick back up and i go back and start all over you know so it's no biggie oh no ma'am y'all was not gonna say my nose was hanging around the whole time anyways so we're getting ready to go to dc me and india it's been a hot minute since i've been in like actual dc like the town so i'm excited because y'all know like a few years back like we was going to dc almost every other week and it felt like me and Taiwan. and so we're supposed to be going to like this tea party on wheels thing i'm super excited um something different girly fun to get into don't know what we're doing tonight Tomorrow we'll probably try to hit up a brunch before we leave and then we're going to head back down here to the 757. So anywho guys, I just wanted to come and talk to y'all since it's been a minute. Uh, this is really, really weird for me. It's been over a month since I want to say I physically picked up the camera outside of me. Just those clips that I added in before this and physically talk. It's been over a month. So I'm just trying to like get back in my groove and um, find that motivation and that discipline again to just get back to this. So anywho, if you guys are ready for today's video y'all know what to do give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys shortly Well, I'm about to run, but am I 
What's up? I gotta be real, real quick. I know it's been a few days since I've been on the vlog, but I'm getting ready to go to this art exhibit for Van Gogh. I've been wanting to go to this for a long, long time, and I finally just said F it, bought the tickets, and I'm going by myself. So this is my outfit I'm wearing. It's this Air Hardy shirt that I got tied up. This belt is from Shein. I got my True Religion shorts on, and then my favorite platform shoes, and then I'm gonna wear my leopard bag. So... That's the fit. I'm cute, comfortable to walk around in. And you know, I wanted to be a little like artsy looking since it's like a museum type of vibe. So yeah, hopefully I have fun and it's, you know, a nice experience. Um, I told you guys that I really want to just start going out by myself because waiting around on people, you're never going to go nowhere. So let's go to this exhibit and let's see where the night takes us. solo adventure don't mind the light y'all i um just got finished trying to double record a video today has been a full content day like i've literally been filming content all day today and just trying to you know get back to just being productive and pushing out great content for you guys i'm hopeful that the video that i recorded today um comes out the way i'm envisioning it because <sighs> Sometimes it's so hard making content because you feel like you're being cringy, but really it's just like, who fucking cares? And that was one of the things I talked about in the video. Like, literally fear holds us back from doing the things that we want to do, the things that we're passionate about. So I'm just like, okay, this is something I want to do. I need to just go out and do it. So today was just all about like literally just doing first. And I knocked something off my bucket list. I went out by myself to the bar and it was not bad. I didn't record in there, but... I went to this hookah lounge at Virginia Beach and it was like some chill vibes. They had a DJ in there. I got food, drinks, and hookah and I just vibe myself, you know? And I had a really, really good time. So I feel like I've literally unlocked a new cheat code within me. Like I don't have to wait around for people to do stuff. Like I can literally do it on my own and I'm a vibe by myself, you feel me? So if you needed a sign or motivation to go and do something by yourself, here's your sign. I did it. It was not bad. I went to the Van Gogh exhibit by myself too today and that was pretty fun as well. What I will say is this. I would give it probably a 7 out of 10. 
it was very underwhelming like I appreciated it and it was a cute experience I loved like the artwork and certain stuff but for what we paid I feel like we kind of got chipped a little bit like they could have gave us a little bit more I thought that it was going to be like some interactive type of exhibits it was a lot of just his quotes his pictures explaining things about his life um a video and like in the room we was in it was like videos going around and stuff that gave off a I guess a 3d experience like they said but it wasn't really given like 3d experience like I thought then they had the audacity to have a um what is it virtual reality ride that you had to pay extra money for so I'm just like child every time you try to do something cute it always be some stuff but overall you know it, it was an all right experience I recommend it to somebody else it just depends it depends like how much you like art or stuff like that me personally I probably wouldn't go to it again I don't know if they would do something different but yeah it just wasn't what I was thinking it was going to be but just wanted to come and tell you guys about my solo adventures today and whatnot so tomorrow I think I'm gonna go to a cookout um at chorus her peoples are hosting a cookout and so I think I might do that tomorrow and that's it y'all that's the plan and probably shooting a little bit more content for this video that I'm trying to get out so yep I just wanted to come chat with y'all real quick after this long day I'm super duper duper tired so I'm about to go ahead and get ready to go to bed so I'll check in with you guys in the morning hey y'all happy Saturday happy Saturday happy Saturday I am finished getting dressed surprisingly I'm early today I told myself that I'm trying to do better when it comes to me going to events and different things like whatever time I say I'm gonna be ready I'm just gonna time myself an hour before this so say for instance if I know I want to be ready by five o'clock I need to be ready by four o'clock because my time management has been poor lately when it comes to getting to events on time now luckily the Van Gogh exhibit yesterday they let me in a little bit after my time I was supposed to but I did end up getting there late because I was shooting content literally all day yesterday but again that was my fault poor time management so anyways I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quickly let me know which shoe y'all think looks better with this I'm going back and forth on I feel like I've worn both of these shoes down to the ground this summer like literally I feel like I'm becoming so minimal when it comes to my wardrobe nowadays like i literally just want to wear what's like cute and comfortable like i don't even know and i have all these shoes and i swear i keep rotating between these two on the weekend all right so i have on my grit shirt girls raising the south my thick chunky earrings my same watch and bracelet combo from yesterday tennis bracelet from Pandora, uh, this little bangle thing is from Amazon, the Van Cleef dupe, Amazon as well, and my JBW watch. And then my Pandora uh, bracelets over here, my case Bay charm bracelet, and then I'm going to take this off and look, this is my Apple watch. Same belt I got on yesterday. This is another one of my favorites. I feel like I just love adding this belt to everything and it adds a cute pizzazz. Um, True Religion skirt. And then I have all my samples on one foot and then my thick fluff ups on the other. And then I have my cheetah print bag that I wore yesterday too. So, you know, I feel like either shoe would be cute. But I'm just going back and forth because since I'm going to a cookout, I'm like, do I want to be more comfortable? Because the comfortable route will be to wear the samba. So I'm like walking on flat ground. I don't know if we're going to be in grass and things of that sort. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just rock with the sambas. But maybe if we go out later, I'll just bring the flip flop with me just in case. But that is the fit y'all so i forgot to come back to y'all and properly show y'all my nails because how dare i like first of all if y'all wasn't paying attention i had to get my nails cut down short because i had a little nail boo boo a couple weeks ago so my nail tech insisted on me you know just keeping them short until my real nail grew back underneath so this week i went back to my typical length and baby let's just say we didn't come to disappoint y'all already seen like a little preview of it of course when i um did a little b-roll in the vlog but let's go ahead and give my girl her moment that she deserves okay come on into the room all right now aren't these so cute like when i say my nail tech eats so bad with her shaping and everything like 
these are three different nail designs put into one like they came out so stinking cute and i just love them so excited to get my link back it's nothing like a good click 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 clack to get it going but i did not realize i was already on this thing talking for four minutes i really can talk can i anyways y'all just wanted to come check in i'll check in with y'all later at the cookout and yeah hopefully everybody's having a good labor day whenever they're seeing this well it's gonna be way past that but hopefully you had a good labor day whenever you looked at this or you having a good day in general okay bye i'm gonna call y'all back what's up y'all happy monday happy labor day whenever you guys are watching this and whatnot um i did not go to work today i did not go to work today i said you know what i'm gonna take the day off because I went out literally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I was just like, I'm learning now as I get older. I have to have at least a day to recover. Like, I cannot just like go, 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 and then be still functional. So, yeah. Sunday was supposed to be my chill day or whatever, but I ended up, like I said, getting invited to my homegirls cookout that I went to on Saturday. They had a part two yesterday. So, ended up going out and didn't get home till like 12 something almost one so but today we're going to be cooking some chicken and shrimp alfredo i'm going to show you guys the ingredients in a second i haven't been filming it but when i tell y'all i have literally been like cooking so much more y'all like i didn't realize how fun cooking could be like it's just a way for you to just kind of relax and it's therapeutic and it's not as time consuming as i thought some things are more a little bit longer but I will always just be like quick to say, oh, well, I don't want to um, cook because I don't feel like having to cook. But really, a lot of this stuff be taking me like 30 minutes to make. Don't even take that long. I don't know. I might make a little new segment on here where we uh, we chat and we cook or whatever because your girl been in the kitchen real bad, okay? So anyways, like I said, today we're going to be making chicken and shrimp alfredo. The sauce is going to be made from scratch. And then I'm also gonna be doing broccoli in it and then um, some garlic toast on the side, which that is store-bought, but child, we are gonna keep it real simple today, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this B-roll footage going and you guys just follow along, see what all I'm doing. I will list uh, the recipe and things down below if you guys want it. But without further ado, let's make some Alfredo. Hey y'all, and welcome to my first ever Cooking with a Sip of Moscato series. As I stated, we're making chicken alfredo today. So the best thing I've noticed with cooking chicken is cutting it in half so the meat is more smaller and easier to cook and making sure it's tenderized. You can slap it, whatever the case may be, to just make sure it's as flat as possible. And then we're just going in with some fresh broccoli, making sure we're cutting that stem and getting it cleaned, of course. This Parmesan cheese gave me a headache, y'all, as y'all can see, but we managed to get it grated. I feel like grated cheese is a little bit better. Going and sauteing that broccoli, peeling our shrimp, putting chicken broth with the water because that gives it a little bit more flavor. Now right here, we're moving a little bit fast with the spice and stuff, but hopefully y'all are following along not put everything on the green to making the sauce but it's just pretty much cream cheese heavy cream the parmesan cheese and and a little bit of flour then just the seasonings that i used in the chicken as well and bon appetit just made herself some breakfast i'm having a heart shaped uh mcgriddle you know type teas i love that pan i got it from walmart and it makes the perfect like for 
because the four compartments in one, you got one to put your meat, you can put your two pancakes, and then an egg. But of course, you can do it how you want. Like if you want to cook four eggs at one time, and just use a turkey for pancakes, you can too. But it's just, it's a cool way to make like breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that, and it's in a heart shape. So, if you're interested in purchasing, I'll have it linked down below. I'm sorry I'm eating and talking, y'all, because I'm hungry. But anyways, happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. So far, I've been having a productive morning. Made myself some breakfast. I ended up calling Walmart because I ordered this chair or whatever for my room. It's been almost a month ago, y'all. I ordered the chair, and I've been trying to refund it because I've seen the same chair at TJ Maxx for way cheaper. So I was like, oh, I'm going to just get this. So they've been giving me the run around or whatever the case may be. Y'all, why did a mess the round and they said they're gonna offer me a full refund and i can keep the chair so you know what i'm gonna do with that other chair it's going back okay we're gonna save a little bit of coin one thing about me it is no shame in my return game so that's the plan for the day i'm going to return that chair back i'm going to be putting that new chair together because it did come like not already put together but i don't care because it was free and then i gotta go to work later and I also just need to, you know, get some editing and stuff done. But this weekend, I don't really plan on doing too much. It's going to be a chill weekend. So, I'm kind of looking forward to that. And um, I can really try to catch up on, like, you know, just editing and getting some content done. But I did want to show you guys some boots that I just got the other day from Macy's. When I say these boots are so cute, y'all, like, we're about to be in fall real, real soon. And I wanted to go ahead and just, like, start getting my wardrobe together. Now, I've cut back quite a bit if y'all haven't noticed or if you were paying attention i have cut back a lot when it's come to the shopping for clothes and stuff like that because with me like fluctuating on my weight and stuff right now i'm just like i don't want to keep buying clothes and i don't even know what size i'm going to be in like a month or so so i just been rocking with what i got now here and there i'll buy a little piece and stuff like that but i really just been trying to be more financially responsible i'll say that much when it comes to my purchases so as soon as i'm done eating this breakfast y'all I will pick y'all back up and I will show y'all the boots. All right, I'm back y'all with the box. It is huge, but of course it's boots, so expect from the box. I think that like these boots were like I guess popular or something not too long ago. Fifty percent off DoorDash. Okay, period. Lord, not my day going battery about to die. Hopefully, I can show these to y'all before it dies. But this is what the box looks like. The company is INC International Concepts. And again, I got it from Macy's. The size is in a 7 wide because I heard it runs small and narrow. And I got it in the yeah. wide cap because your girl got some thick toys. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, these is bad, honey. It's giving very much Mary J. Blige Cody, okay? Hey, I'm about to be stepping in my boots. Uh, these were uh, $129, and they also had them in red and black. I wanted to get the black, but I feel like I have so many black boots. I was like, let me try to be different and get some cream. So I'm going to try these on, let you guys know if they fit or not. And um, yeah, if they do fit, I definitely think that they will be a great addition if you like boots for the fall or whatnot. But yeah, let me go try these on really quick. Okay, these is the boots. Don't mind the moo moo, y'all, but what is it giving, y'all? They definitely fit. Now, I don't know about if I keep walking around, how they're gonna fit. Oh, let me turn this off, sorry, y'all. My bad, y'all, I was watching Mona, but anyways, I'm trying to hear up and do this clip. But what y'all think, y'all? I definitely got to keep walking around in them, but I think they're cute. And they definitely fit my thigh. I'm glad I got the wide calf. But any home, again, if you guys want these, I'll have them linked down below. And they are from Macy's. So I will check in with you guys. If not later today, probably another day. Hey, y'all. I'm here just to close out today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the family yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and click on that red subscribe button down below before leaving out. Thank you guys so much as always for all the love and support. And you already know, I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.
waiting around on people, you're never gonna go nowhere. Gotta find peace of mind. Please don't let me disgrace. He says it's impossible. The temptations of my past, but I.